Hi, my name is Don Briggs and I'm a member of the team at Breadboard Electronics. This is Project 37, 555 and Op Amp. Now, um, it will become very clear in a moment that these are pretty much very, very similar to what we've actually done before with our light detector and dark detectors. But here we're using an Op Amp. The first circuit is an Astable and the second circuit is a monostable. Uh, let me just show you. If I change the light level from light to dark, the astable will start to flash. Now that flashing can be uh, controlled um, by the, uh, the trimmer there. Now in the monostable it's only got two states, it's either one way or the other. So as the light decreases, it goes to red, it increases, it goes to green. Probably a more useful circuit than flashing lights. Either way, but both circuits are um, uh, good for learning, good for trying to understand circuits a bit better. And the differences between uh, astable and monostable circuits, that sort of thing. Uh, breadboard layout. Uh, these are up the other way to what we had just now. It's got the monostable at the top and the astable at the bottom. And as you can see, the red light's already on because it's dark. And you raise it up and it goes green. Now, with the astable, we're going back the other way. So it detects it on the, yeah, as, as it gets darker. Now, if I vary this slightly that should change the flash rate he said quickly and it does in reality it does uh, not a great deal obviously but it does anyway that's the end of project 37 thank you for watching hi this is project 37 555 timer and operational amplifier together the operational amplifier is this little section over the left here, that's its op amp chip and the 555 is over here. 555 is wired up in a very similar way to what we've seen a number of times already. Now the idea behind this is that there is an LDR over here and that will detect darkness. So as we get closer to it we will start to see our LEDs flash. Another, another little um, light dependent uh, circuit, uh, completely different to all the others, but the end result is very, very similar. Something else to play with, take it apart, put it back together, make it work, make it do something else, etc. etc. That's the end of Project 37. Thank you for watching.